Hello everyone and welcome to our new video lesson in probability and statistics. And for this video, I will be discussing the mean of discrete probability distribution. I am your teacher, Mr. Mark Anthony B. Laroya. Before we proceed with our example, let us first define what is a mean of a discrete probability distribution. When we say mean of discrete probability distribution, we are talking about the average or the weighted average of the possible values that our random variable can take or may occur or may happen. So for this example, by the way, this is the same example that I used in my previous uh, uh, video lesson in statistics about the probability distribution. So if you haven't seen it yet, you can watch it and the link is in the description of this video. So let's say we have the tossing of three coins, okay, and then we have the different possible outcomes. So we have this eight possible outcomes for our event of tossing three coins at the same time. The value of our random variable x, now we are concerned with the number of tails, so we have these values. And then the number of tail x are the values of our random variable, the number of tails that may appear in tossing the three coins at the same time. So you have 0, 1, 2, and 3. And our probability of our random variable, so for 0, you have 1 over 8 possible outcomes. For one tail, you have three over eight possible outcomes. For two tails, you also have three out of eight possible outcomes. And for an outcome with three tails, you only have one over eight outcomes. So these are the probabilities of the number of tails x. So we are here to compute for the mean of the discrete probability distribution. But for us to compute for that mean, First, we must get the product of our x and the probability p of x. So we have here another column wherein you're going to multiply your x, the number of your random variable, the number of tail, times the probability of your random variable. So for example, you have in our first row 0 times 1 over 8. So you will have the value equal to 0. And then for the second row, same procedure, we just simply multiply 1 by 3 over 8, so we have 3 over 8. Next, we have 2 times 3 over 8, you have 6 over 8. And then lastly, you have 3 times 1 over 8, and then you will have a product of 3 over 8. The formula to get the mean of our probability distribution is simply getting the sum of all the products of our x times p of x. So 0 plus 3 over 8 plus 6 over 8 and another 3 over 8, the sum will be equal to 12 over 8. So 12 over 8 is equal to 1.5. This is the mean of our probability distribution. This value tells us that in tossing three coins, you can expect that there will be 1.5 tail. Now, since there's no such thing as 1.5 tail, it tells that it could be either one or two tails may appear or occur if you toss the three coins. It's because this value is exactly at the middle of one and two unless there are some values wherein it would be very clear, let's say 1.7, 1.8, you can round it off to 2. So you can say that the expected value would be 2 tails. Let's say another one could be 1.3, 1.2, you round it off to 1. You can say the expected value could be 1 tail. So that is the purpose of identifying the mean of the probability distribution. For you to know what value could you expect for your random variable? So for another example, we have here 
drawing two balls from two different boxes. This example was also used in our previous lesson in uh, determining the probability or the probability distribution. So these are the possible outcomes from drawing two balls from two different boxes. These are the combinations or possible outcomes. So we have a total of 16 possible outcomes. And our random variable x is assigned to determine the number of even numbers that can be drawn for each possible outcome. So let's say, for example, you have a combination of 1 and 1. So there's no even number. So the value here is 0. And let's say you draw 4 and 4. So both numbers are even. So you have the value of 2. So the value of your random variable x or the values are 0, 1, and 2. And for the probability, you have 4 zeros out of 16 possible outcomes. For one even number, you have 8 out of 16 possible outcomes. And for outcomes with both even numbers or two even numbers, you also have 4 out of 16 possible outcomes. So these are the probabilities. Now, let us now get the product of our x and p of x. So 0 times 4 over 16, so any number multiplied by 0, it's just simply equal to 0. 1 multiplied by 8 over 16, so any number multiplied by 1 is the number, and that is 8 over 16. And lastly, we have 2 times 4 over 16, that will also give us a value of 8 over 16. So these are the products of x and the p of x. Now, next thing that we're going to do is to get the summation of the products of x times p of x. So 0 plus 8 over 16 plus 8 over 16, this will give us a sum of 16 over 16 or equal to 1. So this value, 1, is the mean of our probability distribution. So we can say, or you can expect, that if you draw two balls from two different boxes, you might get one even number. Because this is your mean, your expected value. That is your mean of probability distribution. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something new about statistics and probability and see you again next time in our video lesson. Thank you very much and God bless.